Hello everyone, I have a very exciting video. You guys tend to love these. I'm letting you know all the new and, you know, older releases um, that are coming back for this spring floor set. So you can already see a preview here of the brand new fragrances and then off to the side I have a bunch of returning fragrances and I'll get into those as well. But before I do, I just have to mention to you that this video is in collaboration with Dossier. I have two exciting fragrances to share with you. Um, this is just kind of to let you know that they are now having their top fragrances in Walmart. So it's now live in 1400 Walmart stores. They do have a store locator on their website. You can see if one of the stores near you has them. Um, they really just make the perfect gift for you or for anyone else because these luxury fragrance dupes are all under $50. And if you get the legit versions, like if you're buying a Tom Ford fragrance, you're spending upwards of three, four hundred dollars. So speaking of Tom Ford, I was super, super excited to get this one. So I have Ambery Cherry here. The notes are cherry, almond, cinnamon, clove, rose, jasmine, plum, balsam, tonka bean, and vanilla. I have been wearing this and let me tell you, I get compliments every time I wear it. I want to pair this um, with Sugar Cherry Crisp from Bath and Body Works. It is not focusing. Come on. Um, but yeah, I want to pair this with Sugar Cherry Crisp because I think it will elevate it. And even if you aren't a huge cherry person, I still would recommend trying this one out because it smells so good. I think it's the almond. It's very gourmand. Um, but this smells just absolutely amazing. And you can get this on Dossier for $49 and Tom Ford's Lost Cherry is $375. So this is definitely the way to go if you are wanting to smell delicious on a budget. So that's the first fragrance. The next one I decided to try was this one right here, Floral Honeysuckle. This has green leaves, orange, honeysuckle, um, jasmine, tuberose, sandalwood, and vanilla. This one is inspired by Gucci Bloom, which I was seeing everywhere, and I live somewhere where I can't just go to a store and smell it, like I don't have a Sephora or anything like that where I live. So I was really excited to get this. Um, this one retails for $39, and Gucci Bloom is $108, so I actually am blind smelling this one right now. And let's see. Ooh, okay. It's very, this is perfect for spring. I'm getting a lot of like fresh florals. I think the green leaves and the sandalwood, I definitely smell because I'm getting the earthy notes. And then there's that really true fresh honeysuckle note. I think I will be, end up pairing this one with Honeysuckle by Bath and Body Works as well because I like to do kind of fragrance combos. I think it's really fun to pair these dossier scents with my other brands as well. So that was really exciting. Thank you again, Dossier, for sending these and allowing me to share these with all of you because a lot of people that I know that have tried Dossier because of my videos have loved it. Um, I got my um, mom to get some. A few of my friends and coworkers have gotten them and they all love it. So you can go to your Walmart, check them out there if you have them, and they do have them online at walmart.com as well um, if you're interested there. So now that we have looked into that, we can get into these fragrances. So, like all these videos, I don't have the new packages for everything. Um, I just use up what I have instead of buying the same scent in a different look. So I will be popping photos up on the screen, hopefully, um, that they'll have them by the time I want to get this up. But some of these may be releasing later, some of these may be already in your stores. It's kind of weird around semi-annual sale because if stores are running out, they can get approved to put the new fragrances out early. So it's possible your store might look different and might not have these yet. They maybe have had them a week ago. I don't know. But we're just going to get right into it. I'm going to start with men's. So we have Smooth Amber here. Um, this one has notes of Warm Amber, Dried Woods, and Neroli. So for the men out there, since I don't always include you, they'll just give a little spray. There we go. Mmm. This smells really nice. Okay. 
I'm getting a lot of amber, obviously, it's in the name. It's a very woodsy amber. I'm not sure what neroli is supposed to smell like, but amber and woods, that's exactly what this is. So, mm, I really like that. Ooh, that's good. I'm really into like in the stars and into the night. So, my husband will smell real good if I'm wearing that and he's wearing that. All the amber, we can like pair our scents up. That's really good. Quite enjoy that. Guys, ladies, whoever wants to wear this, go and smell it. I think that's really nice. Then we have one that I am super, super interested in. This is Among the Clouds. My store did not have the spray yet, so I'm just reviewing based off shower gel, but I will be putting a review up based on spray um, on my Instagram once it comes in, but I just didn't want to wait any longer on this. So this has Wildberry Skies, Whipped Vanilla Clouds, and yeah, that's it. Berry and Vanilla, which they have done like a thousand times now. Ooh, it's good though. I'm trying to like not smell the amber that's in the air from smelling that <laughs> deodorizing spray. Mmm. Okay, I'm getting a lot of berry. Ooh, it's really nice. <laughs> this packaging is really pretty. It's like sparkly. You kind of can't really tell in this lighting. It's a very stormy day. But if you like Boardwalk Taffy, you'd probably like this one. But, I mean, people are disappointed because they're like, how many times have Bath & Body Works done berry and vanilla? It's, it's been a lot of times, but it sells really well. People really like it. I really like it. I'll definitely be wanting to get the matching lotion at some point. So, yeah, just very sweet true like sugary berry with vanilla that's exactly what among the clouds is and i also do have the candle which i'll be reviewing shortly as well so keep an eye out for that on my instagram then we have this collection here it's very cute this is a new one sun blooms and suede again they didn't have the spray so i just have the shower gel for now and a review based off the spray will be up on my instagram when i get that this has white raspberry pink petals and vanilla cream so i was like oh another berry scent with vanilla but this this is totally different. I smell mostly floral and, hmm, this is interesting. The raspberry isn't as strong as I thought it would be. It's giving me like kind of woodsy floral, but I don't see like a woodsy note in here because there's just vanilla floral and raspberry. Mm. It's very clean floral, to my nose at least. Again, the spray will be different, might not be as tart. But if you like, um, I guess, earthy florals with a little bit of sweetness, you will enjoy Sun Blooms and Suede. Then the other brand new one in that collection is Indigo Dreams. This has bergamot water, glowing amber, and warm musk. So this is the one I'm least excited about. Um, I have sprayed this on me already. And it's just a clean musk. Like, again, Bath & Body Works has done a lot of scents like this. I think it's good. Um, I ended up actually picking it for my employee gratis, which I was like, that was kind of cool because I didn't have to pay for it then. <laughs> it's not that it's bad. It's just not that exciting to me. Um, I love bergamot, so I do love this, and I love amber. And it smells really nice, but I just feel like I have so many scents that, um... <clears throat> oh my gosh, I like sprayed it straight in my face on accident. This video is chaotic, I'm so sorry. Um, but it just smells like a lot of ambery bergamot scents, musky scents that I already own. But I do really like it. Um, but yeah, it's just not as like, it doesn't stand out to me as much. And then part of this same collection, um, it won't look like this, Fresh Coconut and Cotton is returning, which I absolutely love this fragrance, so I was excited about that. It has Coconut, Coastal Breeze, and Beachside Cotton. If you've never smelled this one before, it is coconut with that laundry freshness. It's delicious, perfect for springtime, so that's really cool that that one is coming back. Also, Cloud Nine is returning from this same line right here. This has Lavender Breeze, Morning Dew Drops, and Cozy Amber. So I'm kind of surprised they brought Cloud Nine and Indigo Dreams out because they're kind of in the similar scent family in that they're musky. Um, I feel like, let's see, let me compare. Cloud Nine is more bright, more sweet, and Indigo Dreams is more just 
clean, fresh, like pure clean, fresh. That's that's good as it'll get. Then Strawberry Pound Cake is coming back in its own repackage. Again, this leaves and comes back all the time with a different look. I still have the OG one. Um, my favorite packaging. I don't know. I just really liked the original. So she's coming back. Strawberry and vanilla. Delicious. Everyone pretty much knows her at this point. So I'm not going to get into that. Then we have faceted packaging. So beautiful day is making a comeback, which a lot of people will be excited about. People ask for this one all the time it is in this beautiful packaging. Again, hopefully I'll be able to find a picture and put it up for you. Um, this is a floral. Um, I believe it's Daisy and Apple. My old bottle doesn't have the notes, but it's a classic. Um, if you know, you know. If you love florals with a hint of fruity, you will enjoy Beautiful Day. If you've never smelled it before, it's a classic, so go give it a sniff. Then we have Fiji Sunshine Guavatini returning, which it's kind of weird that this didn't launch with like a tropical line because that's where we've seen it. Um, but they threw it in for spring. So this is just a really nice fruity scent. It kind of reminds me of like, I guess, a cocktail. Um, super, super, super like juicy fruity scent. I love Fiji Sunshine Guavatini. Um, I'm not quite ready for this kind of scent. I'm more into like the florals and fresh scents um, that I'm transitioning into. But good to see that one back. And then also Pastel Skies is returning in that same collection. This has Soft Cloud Breeze, Pink Spun Sugar, and Coconut Musk. So if you like the more sugary, sweet kind of fragrance, this will be up your alley. It's kind of like if fresh coconut and cotton had more sugar notes to it. Again, I'm kind of surprised with the similarities, like now that I'm looking at it, these two are like kind of similar and yet they're launching at the same time. And then these two are also kind of similar and launching at the same time. So I feel like that's a little weird because usually they try to mix it up. Um, but I don't know. Overall, I'm pretty happy with what's come out. I think this table with all the Among the Clouds is just going to look so beautiful whenever you can see it. It's just so eye catching. So I'm really excited about that. Um, and then I also will be putting up a haul video very, very soon, um, probably the day after this, with a bunch of new candles, and I will be getting on reviewing those because um, they're absolutely beautiful. So um, lastly, if you made it this far, comment down below which fragrance you're most excited to smell. And also, if you haven't, check out Dossier. I do have a code with them, BBW Candle Girl. You can get 10% um, off. I think it's BBW Candle Girl, Handle Girl 10. I will put it on the screen somewhere um, just to remind you but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one